So today we're at Lake Altoona and this is the location for the filming location of Ozark. This was actually the Blue Cat Lodge and we've had so much rain here in Georgia and especially here in Cherokee County that there is a ton of flooding and as you can see the floodwaters have come all the way up into the parking lot here at this restaurant. Now this was the Blue Cat Lodge in Ozark but uh, it has since become a real restaurant called JD's on the Lake. Uh, this is Lake Altoona and some of these things you may recognize from the TV show Ozark. Now this building right here this building right here was used kind of as a gazebo, had some picnic tables in there and uh, if you saw the episode where they were doing the 4th of July uh, a lot of the celebration took place right there in that particular gazebo. Now right here you see the parking lot. Uh, that right up there was the Blue Cat Lodge. And uh, this little signboard here, they had the signs advertising the Blue Cat Lodge at the time. You see they painted it kind of a light blue and a dark blue trim. They've still kept those colors. And if you notice the gazebo that I just showed you, it still has the blue roof on it. Now, from right here, you can see the floodwaters have receded just a little bit. So right here, we're in the parking lot. You can go down, you can maybe see the lines of the parking lot. The parking lot actually, when there's no floodwaters, goes all the way down past that tree right there. Uh, the docks that you see, they got still kind of some of the white paint on it, but uh, that actually one time was connected so right out there at the end of the dock, that used to be connected to that side of the dock. Made a little swimming area and had a lifeguard stand there and it was all painted nice and white. And if you remember in the TV show, I think it was maybe the third episode or so. See that pole right there in the middle? Uh, that is where Ruth uh, rigged the electricity to electrocute Russ and Boyd. It's right there. Now if we pan right on over, right out there you'll see those gas pumps. Those are actually working gas pumps when the spring and summer season are here. That is where they filmed a lot of scenes where Marty's daughter was working the pumps and waiting on customers. And that dock goes all the way back to the Blue Cat Lodge, which is now JD's on the river. But if you look at all this flooding, that's what we wanted to show you, was all this flooding that has occurred. It has washed so much trash and so much debris up onto the shore, even big giant limbs and logs. Now, just kind of a point of reference, in the TV show, the set designers came out here before filming started and built two cabins. Those cabins were located between those metal plates right there and those metal stanchions right there. What those things are for, for building more docks here on the lake. But they built two cabins there. Those cabins were removed just as soon as filming was uh, halted on the TV show. And the cabin that I think was located right about here was where Marty hid the money in the walls at the end of season one. Now, I've not watched season two so I really don't know how everything ends but you can kind of still see not really any remnants but uh, where the the grass has been killed or little square sections of where maybe the cabin used to be. Right there maybe, I'm sure that's a piece. Right there, you see? And right there would be a piece. And you come on down here. And there's more kind of areas of where you might see some remnants of the cabins that once stood here. Now the building right up here 
This was uh, set up as Marty's office for the Blue Cat Lodge. We'll go up and take a quick look at that. So this building here served as Marty's office for the Blue Cat Lodge. If you notice a little, little piece of metal that sticks out right there, there used to be a sign there that said Blue Cat Lodge. And in the window right there, there said the Blue Cat Lodge office. So right here from the top of the parking lot, this gives you a look at the flooding that's kind of happening here at Lake Altoona. And again, you can kind of see the gazebo there. And on the right and the left of the gazebo, you see those trees. That is where the parking lot usually goes to. Going to the other side of the restaurant. And right there, you can see the pumps that Marty's daughter worked at when she was employed by the Blue Cat Lodge. And if you just kind of look down the ramp there, the dock, you can see that it's flooded. All this area here is flooded. It's come right up to the edge of the restaurant. If you look up there at that sign right there, at one time that said Blue Cat Lodge. Don't know if you can see it, but it says snack bar, picnic pavilion, full bar restaurant, bait and tackle for sale. Uh, full service marina, beautiful cottage rentals, and boat rentals and swimming dock. That was all put up there for the TV show. Uh, they do not have a swimming dock and they uh, do not have beautiful cottage rentals. If you look right down here, I'm standing up on a platform. There is a lot of debris. There's some ducks. Water's even too high for the ducks. And again, a lot of flooding here on Lake Alatoona. Now, if you look at that, this building right here was actually built by the filming crew. It was not here before they started filming, and not sure what's housed in there. It looked like at one time it was open, and may have been some generators or something like that in there. I have no idea what's in there now. Got some more ducks. You see, there's a, uh, a light there, so the water has come all the way up right here to where the, the restaurant is. A lot of garbage, a lot of trash is washed up. I'm sure they'll clean all this up once the water starts to recede. But we just continue to have rain in Georgia, it's over and over and over again. Right now we're at the, the JD's on the Lake sign. This was the Blue Cat Lodge sign where it says JD's on the Lake. It used to read Blue Cat Lodge, that empty space right above that. It said no vacancy. And if you look at the very top, those uneven poles, that was where the big blue catfish was. And if we pan over to the left, this was the front of the restaurant. It is still a restaurant that's open seasonally, usually in the spring and summer. They're, I think they're working on it now but uh, right there in the middle it said Blue Cat Lodge still has kind of the blue paint scheme that it had for the TV show so I walked across the street from where the uh, Blue Cat Lodge was and over here is Little River Marine Center they do uh, store boats and things like that. I just wanted to show you the flooding that happened over here and point out a couple of locations that you might, might recognize from the TV show. You can see the water is extremely high. No way that they can walk out there to their boat houses right now where they store the boats. It is just so much flooding going on in this area. And it's like you get a day or two of sun like today and then the rain just comes right back in a day or two. Now right out there you'll see two white floaties. Right about there where those floaties are, if it's not flooded, that is dry ground. And right there is where Russ met with the FBI agent in his truck 
and uh, realized he was questioning his sexuality. That was from season one. And the truck was parked right about there where those floaties are. Now looking right straight across here, nothing was filmed over there, but that was where the crew, they would put their uh, the trailers, uh, that was where catering was. And right in front of us, that's actually a boat ramp. The boat ramp has now been submerged because of the flooding. You kind of see the port bodies there to the right. And if we pan over to the right just a little bit, you'll see the bridge. Now that bridge was significant in uh, the, one of the last episodes, may have even been the last episode in season one, where the uh, shot kind of panned up and you saw uh, Marty's business partner at the Blue Cat leaving after she had taken some money out of the wall and she was driving across that bridge right there. Here you can kind of see where the waters have receded. You can see some of the debris that's up in the parking lot. Now this parking lot is usually fairly flat and of course it's usually dry. You can see that little cabin right there and just see that it's all the way up to the air conditioning unit. I've seen it flood like that one other time in this area back around 2011 or so. So it's been quite a while since they've had this much rain at Lake, Lake Alatoona. And again, there's no way you can get to those docks or those boats without a boat. Now right up here in this area, I'm not going to walk up there, but that's the uh, Little River Marine Center. And several scenes from season one I know were filmed up there. Anytime you saw them working on boats, talking about boats, and you saw stacks of boats behind them, they were filmed right up in that area. All right, this shot right here kind of gives you a look at the closing scene. I think it was in season one where Marty's business partner has found the money and is leaving and heads right across that bridge right there. All right, guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video where we take a look at the flooding that's taking place on lake alatoona and also giving you a look at the filming location of the blue cat lodge for the netflix original film ozark so until next time the road is closed <laughs>